In one of the most highly educated states in the country, it might be hard to believe that some 300,000 Coloradans don't have a high school diploma. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, live on the story at the Capitol. Sean, when one lawmaker learned those statistics, she said she had to do something. Jim, Senator Rachel Zenzinger is sounding the alarm. This is an urgent problem. By next year, the Colorado Department of Education says 75% of all jobs in Colorado will require not just a high school education, but higher education. And yet we have adults who can't read and write. And state funding for adult education is among the lowest in the country. Going back to school as an adult is daunting. As an adult refugee, even more so. Two years ago, Katira went from a highly educated attorney to someone who couldn't help her kids with homework. I was looking for some classes that uh, I improve my language and start again here my life. She found far more at Spring Institute, a nonprofit that offers adult education and childcare. After two semesters, my English was improved. And that helped me to apply for college. But her story is the exception, not the rule in Colorado, which became the last state in the country to fund adult education and still makes the second lowest investment. We want to be able to empower adults to be able to change their lives uh, for the better. State Senator Rachel Zenzinger is introducing a bill to increase funding and expand adult education. She says the state will pay one way or another. Through um, the criminal justice system, uh, possibly through some of our social safety net programs, definitely um, uh, accessing things such as Medicaid. We would be able to help so many more people. Matthew Mangesha at Spring Institute says they educated 500 adults last year and yet didn't receive any state funding. We are leaders amongst many things in Colorado and we think that expanding adult education will really take our economy and our state to the next level. And change lives like Katira's. She now works as a policy advocate at the Institute and is earning a degree as a paralegal. I am giving the full credit to those classes. If they want to, people to be self-sufficient, then this is important. You know, right now, state funding covers only a handful of literacy programs in the state. Senator Zenzinger says she is working on where she can get those additional dollars and is hoping the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment can provide some workforce development funding. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean, thank you.